Hi everyone, welcome. Well, um, today I'm going to show you uh, the most important thing that you can do for your mini split ductless heat pump uh, for servicing it. And uh, this is easy to do on your own, okay? And it's simply cleaning the filters. Uh, this is something you do need to do on a regular basis. Um, you know, I think the recommendation is once a month, but I think it really uh, depends on, uh, you know, the environment that you live in how often you run the unit, um, if you just use it for AC or if you use it for both AC and heating. Um, so yeah, I mean, in, in this case, uh, we just use this um, heat pump for AC in the summer. So, you know, three months a year. So I definitely uh, clean it a couple times um, and you wanna do it even more often if you live in a dusty environment or if you have pets, um, because this is really important for the efficiency of the unit and uh, to prolong the life of the unit. So um, I'm gonna show you how to do it here. And uh, yeah, very straightforward. So let's have a look. So all you wanna do is uh, right right here at the front of the unit, you got this, this the flap here that goes up and down when the unit is running. So just above it, there's the cover and you just wanna pull out gently on that and that just snaps off. Sometimes there's four or five snaps along here. And you take the other side, same thing. Just pull it up and then that pops open, okay? If you look up in there, you go a little further, it clicks and then that just stays open. Now these filters are pretty dirty in this unit. They haven't been done in a while, you can tell. You know, like that, that's pretty bad. So we wanna get these guys clean. So you just lift up, pop that out of there like that, pull back and there it comes, okay? Just like that. So we're gonna pull both of those out. I'm just gonna set this down over here. Okay, we're gonna pull both out. As you can see, very easy, just lift up. Right, these tabs here, it's just behind there. Just pull down gently, and out that comes. And obviously you wanna make sure that the unit isn't gonna turn on on you while you're doing this, so make sure you've got that turned off. So yeah, then all, all you wanna do is uh, take them in the, uh, in the sink, and you can use uh, you know warm soapy water. I'm just gonna use the faucet here. I'm gonna put it on warm, and uh, we're just gonna rinse that off. So you can see it's uh, coming clean there. Okay, I'm just rubbing very gently here because this is a very thin screen. Okay, so you just want to make sure that's nice cleaned out. I'm just going back there with the, my thumb, just kind of trying to get all this dust off. If I had a bigger uh, laundry tub, I would do it there. Put some soapy water in, but this is coming off pretty, pretty nicely. It's pretty straightforward. You just gotta, you just gotta be gentle with it because these are fragile. You know, that's why I'm just using my hand. I don't even want to use a scrubber on this because it's so thin. Okay, so I'm gonna do all these sections. And this is just warm water, I'm not even using soap, and it's coming very clean. Okay, now I'm just gonna do the other side. Take some paper towel and just pat it dry. Okay, get the worst of it. Because I don't wanna wait around to have to put this back, so I'm just gonna take a, a clean uh, dishcloth here and I'm just gonna wipe it and get that uh, all dried up. You wanna make sure it's dry before it goes back in. That's looking pretty good. So there we go. That's, uh, oh, there's a little bit of water left there. Just on the frame of it. Yeah, that's pretty dry. So that's it. Okay, so uh, these filters actually have a little arrow on them, right there. So that, points up obviously as you can see by the arrow and uh, these ribs here are on the outside and you can see it's kind of bent the way it wants to go anyways but yeah you just look and you'll see an arrow I think they probably will all have an arrow maybe not but um, they should anyways so then you just take this and you slide it up there's a little track there slide it along that track push it up in and then these two little tabs there you just put it in behind them and push down, pull down, and there you go, that's it. Same on the other side. Okay, so I got the other one all cleaned up, 
and uh, there's the arrow there again. So same thing on the track. Push it up gently up in there. Two clips, pull down, clips into place. Make sure they both look the same, which they do. And uh, must say it looks a lot better than it did. Yeah, nice and clean now. All right, now let's close this up. You just simply push down till it releases and then push and it'll snap back into place. And there you go, you're ready to turn it on and use it for the season. So yeah, as you can see, not that difficult to do. Um, you know, pretty easy. And uh, you know, you, you know, you shouldn't have to pay someone to come in and do this. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't have a refrigeration company come in every couple years to check out, um, you know, the compressor and the condenser and, and all that kind of thing. Uh, just give it a good once over. But um, that's not something you need to do every year, in my opinion. Um, now, another thing I wanted to uh, recommend is that you make sure that uh, it's clean around your outside unit, okay? So I usually just take a, a leaf blower and I blow around the outside unit, make sure there's no debris in around the fan. And uh, there's a drain hose that comes down. You wanna make sure the end of that's clear. Those are a couple important things to do outside. If you live in a climate where you get snow, uh, you wanna make sure that you keep the snow away from that outside unit, especially if you're using it for heating because um, you know that fan's gonna be running. So. Um, you know, in the climate we live in here in BC, um, you know, with the heat waves we've been having lately, uh, the AC units are, are great. Uh, and this one works really well. We live in a 1400 square foot house and, uh, you know, this is a 12,000 BTU unit and, uh, it cools the whole house. No problem. Even in, uh, the really hot temperatures. So, um, we don't use this one for heating. You know, we've tried it, but we don't use it. We've got other heat sources. So, um, but yeah, important to keep, uh, keep uh, it clear and clean around the outside unit as well. So anyways, I hope this video helped you. And uh, if it did, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.